In the extreme heat and the 4th of July fireworks, this can be a very stressful time of year for your pets. You can tell your furry friends not to worry because we are here to help. Please welcome Dr. Ken. He's the Director of Veterinary Services at the Animal Foundation. And Kelly is joining us. She is the Communications Manager at the Animal Foundation. Before we talk heat, last night, 4th of July, last year some of over 500 dogs ran away from home. God forbid someone is watching right now. Their pet ran away last night. What could they be doing? What should they be doing? Well, if their pet goes missing, they should come to our shelter as soon as they can to look for their pet in person. They can also search our website, animalfoundation.com, which is updated hourly. But the sooner they get down to the shelter, the better off they have a chance of a happy reunion. And you guys are waiving fees to yes. reclaim your pet? We're waiving all the reclaim fees up until July 10th. So all people need to do is show up and bring proof of ownership. So a photo of their pet, veterinary records, copies of the rabies vaccination, and no proof of citizenship is required. Forgive my failed reporting here. I forgot to introduce our furry little friend here. Who's this? This is Whimsy. Whimsy. She's a seven-year-old spayed female she came to us in january so she's been with us a while she's available for adoption and she's free through sunday let's talk about signs of if, if the heat is getting to your pet dr ken what are the signs we should be looking at when it comes to this extreme heat this weekend yeah the first thing we have to recognize is that um, our dogs aren't dissipating heat the same way that they are all throughout their skin so their primary mechanism of, of doing that is through panting so that'll be the very first sign your okay. animal will start to be uh, panting excessively um, after that you might just notice a little bit of a decreased response in their uh, re responsiveness towards you or a decrease in their energy level Kelly what are some we have a we have a kitty pool here yeah. what are some ways that it's gonna be hot that we can cool our, our doggies off this weekend <laughs> we're all summer long here in Las Vegas. Well, we have lots of kiddie pools like this at the shelter, and this is one way, one way that we cool off our dogs when they're not distracted. Um, Winsy loves the pool. Um, we also use uh, wet towels. We have wet t-shirts. The wet t-shirt. Put a t-shirt on your dog and just hose them down so yeah. they stay wet? Yeah, yeah. Now, is he enjoying this right now, or is he saying, why am I in a kiddie pool on television? He's distracted, but yeah, he loves it. There's a lot going on. It. Yeah, he loves it. There, I always have a question, because I, I like to sit out by my pool on the weekend, have the dogs out with me. How long should they be outside in this heat, or should they not be outside at all? So we should really be limiting um, physical activity outdoors for our pets to the early morning hours and also like in the evening, trying to avoid um, being outside in the heat of the day. And if they do have to be outside in the heat of the day, finding a shady place for them to be able to uh, spend some time and also providing plenty of clean, fresh water, changing it out regularly and providing ice cubes. Let's all get down here with our pup. What's the rule real quick when it comes to walking your dog? Someone told me it's like a five second rule to place your hand on the concrete. Yeah, so that's one of the best things you want to do is, uh, you know, before you walk your dog on any surface, um, it gets really, really hot with the sun. So you want to just uh, kind of what I do is put the back of my hand onto the, the surface. And if it's too hot for your hand, it is definitely too hot um, for their paw pads. They're not wearing shoes like, like we are. We have to wrap it real quick, Kelly, the frozen treats that everyone can do at home for the pets. If you Google frozen home homemade dog treats, there are so many recipes and it's easy to do. You can use uh, chicken broth, peanut butter, and freeze it overnight, and then you've got a perfect treat the next day. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Thanks, Pop, nice and cool. You want me to get in there with you? No? <laughs> All right. If you lost a pet or want more information, contact the Animal Foundation. You can call them at 702 382-2. Excuse me, 702-382-3333 or visit them at animalfoundation.com.